आई शिव कुमार एस लद्दे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मेकोलॉजी शिवलिंगेश्वर कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी अलमला महाराष्ट्र टुडे वी लर रिगार्डिंग बायोसे ऑफ सिरोटोनिन सिरोटोनिन इज आल्सो नोन एज ए फाइव हाइड्रोक्सी ट्रिप्टामाइन इट इज ए बायोअमाइन और लोकल हार्मोन्स और ऑटोकाइड्स सिंथेसाइज फ्रॉम मे टिफ्टोफान इन द प्रजेंस ऑफ ट्रिफ्टोफान हाइड्रोक्सिलीज एंजाइम एंड एल अमाइनो एसिड डी कार्बोक्सिलीज एंजाइम सिरोटोनिन इज ए न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर फाउंड इन एंट्रोक्रोमाफेन सेल्स इन जी आई टी नाइंटी परसेंट एज वेल एज सो दे आर फाउंड इन द प्लेटलेट्स एंड रेफे न्यूक्लिय ऑफ ब्रेन स्टेम इन जी आई टी सो दे आर प्ले इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन द रेगुलेशन ऑफ द अपाटाइट देन एज वेल एज जी आई टी मॉडलिटी इन प्लेटलेट सिरोटोनिन इन्वॉल्व इन द पार्टिसिपेश ब्लड कॉगुलेशन बाई एनहांसिंग द प्लेटलेट एग्रीगेशन एंड इन ब्रेन इट इज यूज एज ए न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर्स एंड इन्वॉल्व इन द ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम वन न्यूरोन टू दर रिगार्डिंग द मूड और इमोशन और मेनी अदर्स सिरोटोनिन कैनॉट क्रॉस द ब्लड ब्रेन बैरियर बट इन सी एन एस द सिरोटोनिन कैन बी सिंथेसाइड बाई ट्रिफ्टोफान एंड ट्रिफ्टोफान इज अवेलेबल फ्रॉम द फूड एंड ग्रेन्स इट इज ए अमोनो एसिड एंड ट्रिफ्टोफान कैन क्रॉस द ब्लड ब्रेन बैरियर वर द प्रजेंस ऑफ ट्रिफ्टोफान हाइड्रोक्सलेज एंड एल अमेनो एसिड डी कॉक्सलेज इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू सिरोटोनिन so regarding facts of serotonin serotonin is an important chemical and neurotransmitter in the human body it is involved in the regulations of mood social behavior appetite digestion sleep memory and sexual desires and other body functions so serotonin have direct link with the depressions so when the serotonin level was decreases then the person was suffering from the depressions when it is increases the mood can be elevated so serotonin it's play important role in the regulations of the various body functions because serotonin it is responsible for formation of melatonin or serotonin is a precursor for synthesis of melatonin and melatonin is play important role regulations of biological clock or circadian rhythm in our human body so that's why the serotonin is a play important role in the regulations of the all the body functions and to promote the health of that particular person so where the serotonin concentration is normal so those drug so they can alter the serotonin levels are helpful for treatment of depression nausea migraine and also play important role in the obesity and parkinson disease so aim of this practical is to study the biosay of serotonin using rat fundus tip by three point biosay so requirement so instrument like thermostatically controlled organ bath chymograph erector tuberculin syringe thermometer stopwatch dissecting instruments and beaker pipettes are required physiological salt solution is required is a tired solution temperature is about 37 degree centigrade is maintained animal rat fund strip drug standard serotonin solution 10 microgram per ml and as well as test serotonin solutions under the study of biosay of serotonin so regarding principle the potency of serotonin or 500 streptomyin is determined by comparing its activity with that of of the standard preparations of serotonin 5st under suitable conditions like three point biosay method procedure first we learn regarding the isolations of rat fundus strip so this is the typical part of stomach of the rat so there is the upper part fundus middle is a body and pylorus so first isolate the rat fundus strip as similar to isolations of rat elum described in experiment number 6 so first 
anesthetize the rat by spinal cord dislocation so after that open the abdominal organs and target the or highlight the stomach and isolate the stomach from the rat body then the upper part of stomach make a small strips so because that is the part of the or location of fundus and this fundus strip is kept in a student organ bath for isolations containing tired solution so assembly was set up as described in expert number 5 and the temperatures of the student organ bath was maintained about 37 degree centigrade with the help of the heater and thermostat after isolations about 30 to 45 minute record the dose response score of standard serotonin solution using at least four doses first record the baseline without any drug for 30 second then add 0.1 ml of standard serotonin solution and record the responses due to additions of 0.1 ml standard serotonin solution for 30 second so after 30 second stop the drum and change the tired solution at least 2 to 3 times after washing period record the baseline once again for 30 second so after 30 second add 0.2 ml of serotonin solution then record the responses due to additions of 0.2 ml of standard serotonin solution for 30 second so after 30 second stop the drum and change the ringer solutions so after washing period once again record the baseline for 30 second then add 0.4 ml of serotonin solution then record the responses due to additions of 0.4 ml of standard serotonin solution for 30 second so after 30 second change the ringer solution then after washing period once again record the baseline then add 0.8 ml of serotonin solution and record the response due to additions of 0.8 ml of standard serotonin solutions for 30 second so after 30 second stop the drum and change the ringer solution this so this is the known as the drc of standard serotonin solutions so after this record the drc of test solution using at least four doses then first record baseline for 30 second then use separate syringe to administer the serotonin test solution then add 0.1 ml of test solution then record responses due to additions of 0.1 ml of test solution for 30 second so after 30 second stop the drum and change the tired solution then after washing period re record the baseline for 30 second then add 0.2 ml of test solution then the record the responses due to additions of 0.2 ml of test serotonin solutions for 30 seconds so after 30 seconds stop the drum change the tired solution then after washing period record the baseline for 30 second then add 0.4 ml of test serotonin solution then record the responses due to additions of 0.4 ml test serotonin solution for 30 second so after 30 second stop the drum change the physiological salt solution then after that record the baseline then add 0.8 ml of test solution then record response due to additions of 0.8 ml of test solution for 30 second so after 30 second stop the drum and change the ringer solution then record baseline without any drug so this is the drc of test solutions so after this 
recording the DRCF standard solution and test solution, select two concentration of standard drug, electing sub-maximal responses S1 and S2. And bearing a dose of ratio 1 raised to 2 perfectly, that is 0.4 divided by 0.2 is always 2. So like that you can consider S1 and S2. Then select one test dose that response of test should be lie between two standard responses. That is S1 responses in mm or height should be less than test responses and test responses should be less than S2. So like that we should be select two responses from standard DRC and one responses from the test DRC. So due to this reason, so this method is known as the three point bioassay method. So after that, record three set of responses due to S1, S2 and T adding them to organ bath in random, random fashion or Latin square design. The following Latin square may be used to ensure the good randomizations and to account for fluctuating sensitivity of the tissues like first add S1 then after that S2 then T then start with S2 T S1 then T S1 S2 separately first you record baseline then add respective dose according to Latin square then record responses for 30 seconds. After that, change the ringer solution. Then record baseline. Then next dose should be added. And here, the syringes for standard and test use separately. So here, the dose of S1 is 0.2 ml. Also, it is known as N1. Then S2 that is 0.4 ml, N2 then T is a 0.4 ml small t. First, record the baseline without any drug for 30 seconds. Then after that, according to Latin square, add S1 that is 0.2 ml of standard solution. Then record the responses due to additions of 0.2 ml of standard solution for 30 second so after 30 second stop the drum and change the ringer solutions after washing period record the baseline for 30 second then add 0.4 ml of standard solutions according to latin square that is the s2 then record responses due to additions of 0.4 ml of standard solution for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, stop the drum and change the ringer solution. Then record the baseline for 30 seconds. Then add 0.4 ml of test solutions according to Latin square. Then record responses due to additions of 0.4 ml of test solution for 30 second so after 30 second stop the drum and change the physiological salt solution then record the baseline for 30 second so after that add s2 0.4 ml of standard solution according to latin square then record responses due to additions of 0.4 ml of standard solution for 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds, once again stop the drum and change the tired solution. Then after washing period, record baseline. Then add 0.4 ml of test solution. Then record response. Record the responses due to additions of 0.4 ml of test solution for 30 seconds after 30 seconds stop the drum and change the solution then record baseline then add 
0.2 ml of standard solution then record response due to additions of 0.2 ml of standard solution for 30 second so after 30 seconds stop the drum change the ringer solution then after washing record the baseline for 30 second then add 0.4 ml of test solution then record responses due to additions of 0.4 ml of test solution for 30 second so after 30 second stop drum then change ringer solution then after washing period record the baseline then add 0.2 ml of standard solution and record responses due to additions of 0.2 ml of standard solution for 30 second so after 30 seconds stop the drum then record baseline after washing period for 30 second then add 0.4 ml of standard solution and record responses due to additions of 0.4 ml of standard solution for 30 second after 30 second stop the drum and change the ringer solution then record the as it is baseline without any drug so after that measure the height of the responses in mm that is the height of first time s1 according to latin square is 41 then s2 86 mm then t 65 in second row that is response of s2 is, is 82 then responses of t in mm is 64 and s1 is about 44 mm and in third set of responses the responses of t is 67 mm then s1 is 44 mm then s2 is 85 mm so like that we should be measure the height of the responses in mm in the series of three sets responses according to latin square their responses are recorded so observation table calculate the mean that is first time s1 plus second time plus third time divided by 3 you can got the mean 43 like that s2 84.33 then t 65.33 then the unknown concentration of test solution was calculated by n1 by t and t log open the bracket t minus s1 divided by s2 minus s1 into log n2 by n1 close the bracket into standard concentration where n1 and n2 are the doses in ml of s1 s2 small t is the doses of ml of test t s1 average response of low dose of standard drug solution in mm then s2 average response is high dose of standard drug solution in mm then cs is the standard concentrations regarding calculation then finally we can got the 7.27 microgram per ml then result the concentrations of given sample of serotonin by 3 point bioassay method is 7.27 microgram per ml so here all the data are taken for demo purpose to understand the concept and these data do not have any relation to real research data